<gasps> can I see? Okay, Joe opened the door and in came Paul. <gasps> I want to fully, fully enjoy it. It's going to look really sad when it's all gone. That man guided me through pushing out of deep. Where's your dolly? Where's baby? Is she in there? <gasps> Oh, we didn't do yesterday and we didn't do today. So you've got two, but we'll maybe do one now and one later. So let's do this one. <gasps> That's it. What is it? <gasps> can I see? Oh, I can see. <gasps> Where are you putting it? Can I have a look? Okay, mummy will have a look. Oh. Okay, no, don't worry. You enjoy that. <laughs> All done. It says ho, ho, ho. I think it was a Father Christmas. He's going to come and see you in three days, Otty. That was some slow maths right there. <laughs> it's too early. Nothing is as fun to a toddler as opening and closing cupboards. Is it? <laughs> Good morning everybody. Today is the day we head back and Alfie has gone out to grab breakfast and to charge the cup. No, that's not gonna end well. Okay, she's now on the chair. It's very rickety. I'm a little nervous. Be careful. That is a very cute tiny chair, isn't it? Um, yes, as I was saying, Alfie is, I'm just gonna sit a bit closer in case she tries to get off. But yeah, Alfie is, charging the car, grabbing breakfast. Um, and we, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much unpacked. I'm ready to go. I just need to do my makeup and then we're good. The Airbnb that we stayed at had lots of toys for Otty to play with, which has been an absolute lifesaver. Whenever we've ever been away anywhere, Alfie and I usually take a little basket of her toys, which tends to take up a fair bit of space in the car. So it's been so nice that when we arrived, there was already things as the lady has three girls. So she was able to like leave some toys for Otty and she, honestly, she has been obsessed with them. There's a little doll and push chair, which she's loved some building blocks, sticker bricks. Who remembers sticker bricks? She has loved sticker bricks. Not sticking them together, just piling them up in places and like finding little like cubby holes to hide them in. She's really enjoyed that. But my favorite thing, are you getting off or you just want to sit with baby? Oh, that's a pretty dolly, isn't it? Her favorite, my favorite thing that she's been playing with is possibly one of the cutest things ever and it's a tiny little wooden farm let me show you it's so cute it has two layers it has little stables at the back i don't know if you're going to be able to see that let me try and turn it any light going in here there we go it's got little wooden animals this is a little pig a cow um two sheep a duck and a chicken and it has little stable doors back here and it's just the cutest thing and then like little pen bits which I'm not too sure where they go but cute I loved it so much <laughs> that I googled it thinking oh you can take this off lovely I googled it thinking it was vintage it looks pretty like old and vintagey and turns out it is current on John Lewis. So I wanted to share that little uh, nugget of information because if like me, you think this is cute, run, don't walk, it's John Lewis and it's adorable. It's just very, well, you know when something is just very well made and you know it's gonna last a really long time? That's this, very, very cute. And she's really enjoyed playing with that. So I've ordered one, I've ordered one. Where's the cow, Otty? Oh, well done. What noise does a cow make? Oh, <laughs> deal. I'm not sure that's the noise he makes, but maybe. Who knows when we're not looking? A uh, little visit from Paul. Paul the Pidge. Good morning, Paul. 
Pull the page. Where Our is Paul? <laughs> there he is. Say good morning, Paul. Oh. Good morning. Okay, Joe opened the door and in came Paul. Oh, and out went Ottie. <laughs> Otty's outfit today is very cute. Little Zara shirt and the dungarees are from Kidley. <laughs> oh, she's off. Are you ready? Ready to leave? I'm ready, the car's packed. Lovely. We are so organized yeah. for once. <laughs> This little one has made us organised life. Yeah, that's very true. I'm very hot. Whew. We are home. That was a long old journey. Whoops! That was a long old journey back. My goodness me. I'm very tired. It's time for a book. I actually did take away two for her to unwrap while we were away and it was those. So Spot's First Christmas and this one called Christmas Tree, which I think was from one of Alfie's aunties last year. So those were the two she unwrapped whilst we were away. And now we're gonna do this one. There's only two left after this. My goodness. Look at your hair after your bath time. <gasps> What's it gonna be? I'm trying to think which one she's not opened yet. Oh, Mog. <gasps> Mog's Christmas. It's a cat. Her favourite one is Santa Santa Soundbook. <gasps> oh, it's magic. Dancing. Oh, she's so cute. It's nearly Christmas. Far away in the snowy mountains, all you hear is an owl hooting. But what's that music drifting through the air? Who do you think lives there? Otty is down. <sighs> Today is gonna be a vlog with not a lot before this point. <laughs> and potentially not a lot after it either. But it's been such a nice couple of days um, going down to Wiltshire, up to Wiltshire. I always say down to, but it's up and to the side. Seeing friends and catching up and seeing family, it's been really, really lovely. The road trip back just felt quite long. There was quite a lot of traffic on the M25 and I feel like I've done quite a lot of long drives and although I love them, I love a long drive. Give me a road trip over a nip into town any day. I think because I'm so tired, <laughs> my eyes were like Dinging, like the concentration on the motorway. I was just like, oh my God, my eyes. Like, and also I think I've slept on my shoulder quite badly a couple of times. So I can't turn my head. And driving is obviously like making it worse. So I was kind of like hunched over like this. I need to find Alfie's like back massager. <laughs> and then when we got back, the food shop arrived, the Christmas food shop, which is very, very exciting. So I feel like, we might pop out to grab a couple of little bits that once the food shop arrived, I realized I'd forgotten. <laughs> but there's really not much. I feel like on that side of things, I've been quite organized. Uh, it's just getting the house ready now. I feel like the 23rd, which is obviously tomorrow, is that mad rush day. 24th, you wanna enjoy the day. You've got plans, well, we have anyway. <laughs> I don't wanna be doing like, last minute bits and pieces on Christmas Eve because I want to be enjoying myself. I want to be like doing the things. I feel like Christmas Eve is actually one of my favorite days because there's like, it's like all the build up and all the anticipation and the excitement and like you know what the next couple of days is gonna be like. I love Christmas Eve so much. And I want to enjoy the day equally that means the 23rd is like crunch time. The 23rd is when like you realize there's like a long list of things you haven't done yet and you try and do them. So I do apologize now if this vlog and tomorrow's vlog are a little teensy bit shorter. Although I feel like every time I've said that they've still been quite long, but genuinely I think this vlog is gonna be a, a lot shorter because it's the evening already. All I wanna do is eat Christmas chocolate and watch the traitors. 
that's all I want to do. I might put some ribbons around some presents, but I don't feel like that's really top priority. My dream evening, take off my makeup, have a bath, get into bed with some Christmas chocolate and watch the traitors. That's my dream evening. I just don't think I have the time for that. I might actually sit and make a list. I feel like if I make a list, I'll feel better because then I'll have a much more visual representation of what I have left. Also, I do this to myself. Like, I know there's some of you watching this, like you don't have to do all the things. You don't have to. And I know that, but I really like to. Like, I always feel disappointed with myself if it's not how I want it to be because I just want it to be so special for everybody. I'm the sort of person that makes sure everyone has something they like for Christmas dinner. And you know, that person has their favorite alcoholic drink or like that person has their favorite soft drink. I just, I want Christmas to be magical for everyone. Now there's gonna be 11 of us that's more people <laughs> that I want to make happy. <laughs> and I know they will be. It's just the really unnecessary pressure that I put on myself at Christmas time. And I really do admire people who just don't care and just like sack it off and go, do you know what? I'm not going to do this this year. And I'm not going to do this this year. Because it is a lot. Like I totally get the pressures of Christmas. I really do. But I've always been like this. Like I was that kid that tidied my bedroom, hoovered it, had it all perfect before Christmas day. I think because I just love it so much, I wanna fully, fully enjoy it. So if I can get things in order before it, then I enjoy it more. Are any of you the same? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the fire on, I'm gonna make a list, I'm gonna put the traitors on, and I'm gonna start there. <laughs> then we'll see what happens. Has anybody else been watching the traitors? It's so good would highly recommend. Right, I'm starting on this list. Okay, the Christmas list has been written. It's just a lot. <laughs> I don't know if this has helped in any way, um, but Alfie and I can tick this off as we go. So, I feel better for taking it out of my mind and putting it on the paper. Now I just need to tick some off. But all I want to do is get cosy. I just can't do it, guys. I can't concentrate. <laughs> I've done a couple of things. I've written the list, but I'm just too tired. I'm going to have to call it a night in a minute. My brain just won't get into gear. My brain or my body, I can't work out which one. <laughs> Before I head upstairs though, a few of you wanted to see the playroom decorations. I feel like I did briefly show what I'd done in here on a, was it a video a few, maybe when I first did it? Um, but I just thought I'd quickly show you before I go up to bed and also because it's looking a lot tidier in here. I'm going to give you a chance to guess where this is from, <laughs> but... I think it's fairly obvious. It's Zara home because they just make the cutest Christmas stuff in the world. It's like a little Christmas like food stall. Um, and then I've got these like bottle brush trees. These were from the garden center when I went with Mark in like November. And I've just got some of those scattered around. This was also from the garden center, you might remember. This Merry Christmas bunting was also from the garden center. Got some of her little Christmassy books. Um, some more trees. This was also from Haskins last year, I think. Um, so I wanted to go like kind of fun, kind of colorful. She's got this very cute little elf, a merry, merry elf. And then moving over here, these are the stockings from the Little Warren store and we got all of Alfie's family's names put on here. I feel like we need to get some for my family as well. <laughs> Just fill the entire fireplace. Um, and then these garlands up here are actually a new addition. I got these from, actually this is one big long one. This is from Balsam Hill. They had a 40% off sale um, a couple of months back. So I bought it then, it's a 10 foot garland just for size reference it does have lights in it 
but I like to add more because it's just not enough. The paper chain is from Paper Chase that's going all along. This wreath in here is a white company one. I think it's got lights in. I've had this for quite a long time. Gold stars, I think that was like a shop in Hove. This rat reminded me of the rat from a Muppet's Christmas Carol, um, which is why Rizzo the rat, which is why I bought it. <laughs> I also bought one for Joe because Joe and I love Muppet's Christmas Carol. Um, and that <laughs> now sits proudly on the log burner, looking creepy. Um, a couple more little trees. And then on Otty's tree, I basically just wanted this to be like super fun, really non-breakable. Um, this is Paper Chase. These big colourful ones are Paper Chase. These are, I think my mum put these on, on a present that she gave me at Christmas time, like four years ago maybe. Um, this Paper Chase, it's quite a lot of Paper Chase. I feel like mm, this might have been John Lewis. Maybe it was Paper Chase, I can't remember. Um, and then these cute little dinosaurs, how adorable. And then the tree skirt is Zara Home. I feel like that's really the only little Christmas touches I put in here. Um, and then obviously, star of the show, the playhouse. <laughs> but um, I do love it. I feel like it's gonna look really sad when it's all gone. I'm gonna head up, guys. Defeated. I need to take the bags up, though. Our drain smells really bad for some reason. I don't know what's happened to it. We've just got back in the sink. Like, the kitchen smells like drains. That's <sighs> not what you want. That's not what you want, like, two days before Christmas. Right, I'm in bed. I'm cosy. I've got my blanket. I do love this thing. <laughs> But I was gonna end the video and then I was like why do I feel weirdly anxious this evening and I think it's just because I'm really tired and I've been like driving a lot but it also reminded me that one of the things a lot of you asked on my anxiety update video was what like tell us a couple of the tools you use when you are feeling anxious or some of the things that you do and I was like <laughs> This is the perfect time because I'm feeling a bit anxious and I'm gonna go and do some of these things. Oh, one of the main things that I do whenever I start to feel that like wave of anxiety is I tell myself, I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes. I think sometimes, well I do anyway, I get really in my own head and I can almost like overthink every physical symptom in my body. I'll start to think I'm gonna have a panic attack. My hands feel funny. I feel like I can't breathe properly. The room feels like it's caving in. I, I, I kind of inwardly really focus on myself and in order to kind of stop me from doing that and to kind of spiral it and make it worse, I just say to myself, I'll see how I feel in 10 minutes. You almost have to like park it and be like, okay, well, if I still feel this anxious and panicky in 10 minutes, I can think about it then. So just giving myself like that time, like I'll see how I feel, um, always really helps. Another thing I find really helpful, and obviously all these tools are from my therapist, they're not from me. Um, so I don't wanna be taking credit because the credit goes to Alexis, my therapist. Movement Beyond is one that, was introduced to me years ago and made the biggest impact because when you're feeling anxious and panicky, you almost feel like trapped in time. It's such a strange feeling. It feels like everything has stopped and time is not moving and like you're trapped in this feeling. And I think if you've experienced it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But being able to put movement beyond that almost reminds your brain that time is still moving and you're not going to feel like this for the rest of your life. So if I'm on a plane, I will think about landing, getting off the plane, having that like lovely wave of warm come over me, being excited about seeing the hotel room, um, thinking about ordering something nice off the room service menu, or putting my bikini on and like heading down to the pool. Like I have to bring in those elements of like 
time does exist beyond how you're feeling right now and if I'm having like an anxious moment on the flight putting the movement in almost kind of reminds you that you are going to step off the plane at some point like time is still moving even when it feels like it isn't it's still moving and it also kind of reminds you why you're doing it I think sometimes you can be so trapped in this fear that you're kind of like why have I put myself through this and then when you actually think about being on holiday and creating memories with your family and your friends it's like that's why you're going um and to kind of put your brain into that headspace rather than panicking um is really really helpful so movement beyond i used to do it quite a lot whenever i had like book signings or events i would find those so anxiety inducing not because of like the amount of people or the intenseness of it it was more that i didn't want to disappoint people or I didn't want to have a panic attack and leave and then leave people disappointed. It was almost like I felt trapped because I didn't want to disappoint people. Um, a really good example of this is once, I don't know if any of you are around for this, uh, once at Playlist, I really didn't like the whole like queuing for a selfie thing. So instead of doing that, I asked if I could just have everybody in a room around tables and so that I could go and sit at the tables with everyone and like have proper conversations. Uh, what I didn't factor in was how long this would take me to do. <laughs> so I basically pushed and pushed and pushed myself to the point where I had a panic attack and um, had to leave. So I, I made the thing happen <laughs> that I didn't want to happen because I didn't want it to happen. It's such a catch 22. So putting movement beyond things like events. So I would always think like, just do this event and then after that, order a pizza or get back to your hotel room and order room service or get back to your hotel room and watch your favorite film or put the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special on. I'd always think about the next thing um, and that was always really, really helpful. So if there's like a specific thing that makes you anxious, I would definitely put just in that moment where you're feeling really anxious, think about the things you're excited about that come after it. Honestly, breathing. Breathing helps immensely. Sometimes when I get that wave, I will literally just take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, and it goes. Um, I have a lot of games on my phone that I think a lot of people would consider really dull really freaking dull mind numbing games but i really love them because if i feel like my mind is just like going too far with an anxious thought i'll get my phone out i'll play a game it's a really good distraction i also have my relaxing apps so if i am like okay this is going to turn into a panic attack i can feel it i'm on the brink of it this i need to like come back from this i'll put the app on in all the photos where i've just had otty i have headphones in my ears <laughs> and that's because i was listening to my relax app when i was pushing out my baby <laughs> because I needed to stay in the zone. I have linked it like loads of times before, but I will leave a link to the one I use. It's called Relax App and it's literally just a 30 minute meditation, um, guided meditation. So the voice, I think you can select either a male or a female voice, but I prefer the male voice. I find his voice really relaxing. Poppy calls him my man. She's like, you listening to your man? <laughs> Which always makes me laugh. I'm like, mm-hmm, <laughs> my man, my man, that guy has got me through so many panic attacks over the last, like, six years or however long. Um, and that man, that man guided me through pushing out Otty. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's a skill. That is a skill. If I could meet that guy, I would. <laughs> and I would give him a hug. I always say to people... If you can get through the entire 30 minutes without falling asleep, then like you've won, you've won the level because it's so hard 
to stay awake. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's one of those ones where it's like telling you to relax parts of your body that you're not even aware you're tensing. Do you know what I mean? Like, it'll be like, relax your jaw and you're like jesus i didn't even realize i was like tensing my jaw anyway i'll leave a link below one of the things i mean this is only really if your anxiety is similar to mine where you sort of trap yourself in situations um is you can leave i know that sounds so ridiculous <laughs> but i remember alexis saying to me and we first started talking about this when i was like 26 27 she was like you are a 27 year old woman if you need to stand up and leave a meeting you can and i was like i can't it's rude people will wonder where i'm going like and she's like no no you can you can leave and you can come back or you can leave and you can just leave like you are in charge of what you do and even just knowing that i could made me feel so much better because I just used to trap myself in situations. I wanted to be there, but I would trap myself. And the minute I told myself, you can leave at any point, I almost then didn't feel like I needed to. That just literally reminded me because I started feeling a little anxious and I was about to sit down and play my game. And I was like, that was one of the most asked questions on the anxiety video. Um, and I thought, what better way to answer that question than to be feeling a little bit anxious now. Anyway, I hope that was useful for some of you. I am now gonna play my game, the game I'm playing. I don't know whether I should just like list to you the games. I'm just gonna give you a list of the games I like. I'm not gonna explain them. You can go and look for them if you want to. Right, these are the games that I will play if I'm feeling anxious. Candy Crush, Solitaire, Solitaire's a big one. I played a lot of solitaire when I was pregnant. Two dots. Specifically though, the scavenger hunts. I don't play any of the other games on there. I just play the scavenger hunts. Um, sort it 3D. Numberzilla. Love Numberzilla. Match 3D. It's all games that are a bit like mundane basically because i don't i don't want to be thinking too much but i want enough that it's like a good distraction uh there's a couple more three tiles love that game wordle ofs ticket to ride on the phone although that's a bit more you have to think about that a bit more that's not usually the one i'll play if i feel anxious um and that's it those are my main ones that i'll go to specifically if i'm feeling anxious anyway i'm gonna go now because i've rambled on for far too long and i'm really tired and i want to watch the traitors final but thank you so much for watching i'm sorry today that there wasn't really a lot going on um and i will see you again tomorrow